There's the dogs running out to see the cockatoos. You guys all hungry this morning, are you? All right. Let me go and get you some food, hey? And Scruffy's here as well today. Are you going to let me walk past you or are you going to fly away? Hey? You're going to fly away. You're going to stay though, aren't you? Yes. And look at Scruffy. This is Scruffy. Hello. Yes, you're a scruffy looking creature, aren't you? Don't know why. He's, he's getting new feathers. Don't know what his problem is. It's just a camera. It won't hurt you. No, it won't. Let's go and get your food. You're hungry too, are you? Is your bowl empty? You're going to come and say hi. Hello. You're going to come all the way over and say hello, are you? Hi. No, don't jump on me, will you? All right, I'll open the container. He knows the container's down there with the seed, you see. So he says, open it up. All right. Let's have a look. There's not much left. And the dogs are down there. I love watching the, the birds. That's my big container of seeds. Oh, I've got a big scoop. Look at that. Oh, 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 don't you want to wait until they're in the bowl? Look, you're making a mess. You're dropping them all over the deck. All right, move out of the way so I can put them in your bowl. Hang on. Oh, you just scoop them. Just wait. Oh, there we go. Why are you so hungry? There's the dogs down there looking up at them. <laughs> they wouldn't know what to do with them if they did get hold of them. <laughs> uh, although a teacup poodle versus a cockatoo, the cockatoo would come out a winner, that's for sure. You guys are being very noisy today, hey? I'm trying to video. Yes. Izzy. That's Izzy. Making that racket. They just love seeing the birds. All right. Back to pouring. G'day guys. Welcome back. I'm going to do black, white and gold tonight. And I'm going to use my new Artist Loft paint that I've got from Michaels. Yay! Right, so here it is. The black. It's got this big pumpy thing on it. So black and white. The white I still had left over from when I bought it about a year ago, but I didn't have any black, so I had to buy more black. Haven't got much gold left. I've only got like, oh, I think, two bottles of the gold, so I don't know. I may get some more. We'll see. So that's the gold. My pouring medium is, I'm going to have to rewrite that, won't I? 70% glue. This is Elmer's Glue Oil and 30% water. And I have mixed that one to one. So I have got... Shoe fly, I've got the most amount of gold, so that's like, I think I did 150 grams of pouring medium, 150 grams of gold, so I've got 300 grams. This one, I have got 100 grams of pouring medium and 100 grams of white, so that's 200 grams, and then I've got the least amount of black, because black really takes over. So I did, um, what did I do? 90 grams of pouring medium because it was a little bit thicker 90 grams of pouring medium and 70 grams of the black paint Yeah, it um, it's sort of mixed up a lot thicker <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I did have, actually I did have to add some more um, Gold what did I do? Um, oh, that's right. I put hundred and Twenty grams of pouring medium and hundred and fifty grams of gold because I like to thicken my gold up <coughs> Excuse me, I like to thicken my metallics up, so oh, my daughter's home, she's brought her bird, he's a very noisy son, Konya, he has separation anxiety, <laughs> she leaves him alone and wah, wah, wah. anyway, let's get to it. Um, now, I'm not sure how many layers I'm going to do, we'll see, I'll probably end up with maybe three. Oh, 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 silicone, my goodness. Uh, the Artist Loft is quite reactive, so I am doing three drops, four drops, five drops. And hopefully I can actually stir it in. I haven't left much room here. So three in the black, 
one, two, three, four in the white, one, two, three, four, and five in the gold. I haven't left myself much room to stir, have I? That's all right. I'll stir gently. Okay, give it a good mix in. I want that oil to get all the way down to the bottom. It's like whipping eggs. Okay. So I'm not gonna use as much black, obviously, because it takes over the black, it really does. Okay, so now a good amount of gold because gold is one of those colours that just disappears, the metallics, they disappear in your pores, don't they? So make it a bit thicker, add a bit more, maybe double the amount of the black. And then the white, good amount of white, but not as much as the gold. Now the only issue is, of course, putting the black on top of the white, but hey, we're going to get grey. Whichever way you do it, we're going to get grey. A little bit of black, not too much. And then nice big thick layer of gold again. Cover the whole surface. There we go. Back to the white. I haven't done this before with uh, Artist Loft. So we'll see how it goes. Looks a little bit thicker than what I would normally use. But hopefully this white won't split like my global white splits. It doesn't seem a lot thicker, it really doesn't. It's you know, I'm getting a mound on a mound, so it's hard when you change brands. Do I want to scrape all that out? I will. I'll scrape it all out. There's not that. There's not going to be enough for another layer, so I'll just scrape that out. So what's that? One, two, three, four. This is my fourth layer of black. I can see them through my little plastic cups. There, it looks so pretty. Black and white and gold is a bit of a tricky colour scheme to do because you're going to get grey. You have to be careful not to let your black take over because it is very dominant. And now finish off the gold. So still four layers of everything but just different amounts of layers. Obviously the gold I've put almost, well, well double the amount of gold in to the, the black. So you could sort of say one part black, one and a half parts white, to two parts gold. If you're looking at it that way, I'm just going to swat a fly that I can see. Stay there, fly. Gotcha. Got him. Right, finish off my white. And then we will flip these babies. Now, I'm not sure if I want to do the same technique where I've been covering half the surface first and then torching. I'll have a look and see what it looks like once the cups are flipped over as to how thick the, uh, the mix is and hopefully that will tell me. Alright, I'm going to move these paints out of the way. This is where I generally show you the paints, but I've already shown you. Sprayed my cups with silicone spray. This one here, I'll just use that. I don't use the little spouty thing. I just push it down and then I use the little hole from the spray. Just push on the top and the spray comes out there. And then I wipe it with my bit of paper towel, get all the excess off. And it's done. Done like a dinner, as they say. 
Oh, I'm looking forward to this. And of course, metallics don't look all that good when they're wet. So I will show it to you like in a, a later video, the finished result. Once it's dry, my pores take about five to seven days to dry. About five days in this heat. Uh, so I'll show you when it's dry. Okay. Let's do this. So it's not looking too black, which is good. Pour this out on the corner, a little bit left over. Just let it fall out on its own. Don't drag it too much. Okay, done. So I think I will do what I have been doing because it's been working really well for me. So I'll flip it around, I'll fill these in, I'll get my sides, a couple of little lonely cells popping up already and underneath I've just got my little puppy petal pad there folded up because this canvas does not have a beam through the centre. So I should have about 600 grams of mixed paint for this size. I'll try and keep it all on the surface for now. Oh, there's my little gecko back again. Hello, little gecko. It's always round about this time of night. What's the time? Uh, 6.30. 6.30 in the evening. Um, I was going to use that corner catcher, but I think I'll just use my stick just to pop that paint over the edge there without losing too much of it over the side. Come back and we'll do this corner. There we go. So that's those sides done, the corners done. I'll fix up my sides later on. Let's flip her around. Okay, so now, now I'll torch. Do the same as I did with the other technique. Where's my torch gone? I'll use this one. This one's nearly empty, so let's I'll use it up. Now, the artist loft seems to be quite reactive, so I'm going to go really slow with it. You can see where the little bubbles are popping, getting those little white dots where the bubbles are. And they will turn into cells, so to get too close, too carried away just yet. Let's just wait. And while that's happening, I will work on my sides. There's a lot of grey muddy paint that's dripped off. Look at that. It's just all greyish, muddish. But I'm hoping that the cells, when they pop through, are going to be pretty colours. You certainly don't want to pour your paint back from your cup, your leftovers, back through the centre at all because it's just too muddy. Yeah, there's a little bit of white. I'm just going to pop that there on the side. Still need to tilt over the, that side, but this corner's done, the bottom's done, this corner's done. Cells are growing quite slowly, which means 
the mix is quite thick. See, they haven't gone very big, have they? Let's go again, get a few more popping up. Just in the areas where there aren't too many. We've got some bubbles there, let me pop those. And then after this, I'm going to say hi to my daughter. Come up for the weekend. Well, she's dropping her animals off, her cavoodle and her son, Konya. She's going to Japan next week. So guess who gets to look after the pets for two weeks, two and a half weeks while she's living it up in Japan? Me. Okay. Now, I just want a little bit more in the middle here. And then I'll start tilting. All right, I think that's enough. Let's have some negative space. Now, I do need to just wait for these cells to grow. I think I overdid it on that corner there. I thought I'll just get a little bit on that corner. And look at them all. But these cells are looking really, really pretty. When they're nice and small like this at the beginning, you can tell that they're going to be nice cells. You're going to be able to stretch them. And uh, they should hold their shape. I might even tip a little bit of this off, maybe. But I don't think I'll be able to get all the way back there. Once I've gone this way, I'm not going to be able to get back that way. Now, I've got a tiny little bit of black left over and I'm going to pop some water in it. That's not water, that's silicone. Let's pop some water in just a couple of little drips there and I'm going to put some there. Just to help that paint go over. You know the drill. I don't need to keep telling you, do I? And if it doesn't all go over, that's fine. I have a nice little bit of a black there. Pop a bit there as well. I hope it's not too thick, this black. Looks a bit thick, doesn't it? And then on this corner, have I got a bit of white? I've got a little bit of white left. Just pop some white there. It's going to go over anyway, but it's just going to help that paint flow over. <gasps> okay, it's exciting. Let's do this. Have I got enough cells? Yes. Have I got caterpillars? Mm, there's kind of a little one there. It's not too bad. Pop. Right. Grab these little push pins and off I go. Walking up and down. Now I want to get to that side there and go over the black a bit. Come back this way. I don't want to go all the way over yet. I want to get to that side first before I head over. So let's go over there. Bring the weight of the paint back again because I don't want it to go over the edge just yet. I still need to get over to this side a bit more. I should have done it while I was there, but I didn't. Over you go. Bring the weight back over to that corner. Over you go. Or maybe over you go just a touch more to get rid of those big blobby cells that aren't going to look very attractive because half's gone off already. So they've stretched. Okay. Let me look at it. Still looks rather grey, doesn't it? <laughs> Considering... The amount of black I had in there and the amount of gold I had in there but when it dries hopefully the gold will come through. I'm going to torch over here it's a 
enough. See how reactive it is? Like I've got a heap of cells over there in that corner now and I didn't want them. Now I'm going to try and get my hand up underneath and just open this section up here if I can. Oops, I don't know what to hold on to. Just trying to open these cells up a bit here. really working terribly well. There's only so far you can stretch a canvas, isn't there? Okay. Well, not quite was it what I was expecting, but didn't really know what I was expecting. I really like this area here where it's got more of the gold with the black in it. Over here's more white down this end. Let's see if I can get these cells to go down that way just a bit. Actually, I might, I might um, try and just get some of those white ones off the corner there a little bit. See how far I can stretch all this. Just to make my cells a little bit bigger. Whether or not it's a good idea, we will find out. I need to try and move my line back into the middle. that looking is that better I think it's better just wow well, look at all the gold now just opened up some of those cells got rid of those little white little white colony cells on the bottom oh oh my gosh look look there's a face Two eyes, a nose, a mouth, and he's got two big earmuffs on. Look at him. This is where I need the balloon dip. Squish him. It's the kind of thing nightmares are made of. <laughs> Alright, let me clean the edges here. Check my corners. I dumped a lot of paint off, didn't I? A lot of paint went off. I guess I could have torched right at the beginning. Um, still learning with this, I just love the paint, but I guess I could have tilted, at, sorry, torched right at the beginning after I flipped the cups over because I've got plenty of paint to stretch because I've tipped so much off. Got rid of those little colonies on off the bottom. Mm, what else can I do? This is a bit, quite a big cluster there. I'm just going to take that down a little bit. Mm. Really want to zigzag my line now. I think I'll just leave it like that. So the only thing I want to do now is I'd like a few little cells just in here. Okay, let them pop up. So do you think I did the right thing by tilting more and stretching those cells out. Do you remember I had a lot of gold ones here and I had a lot of the white ones here and I kind of tipped all the white, most of the white off and had those little colonies in the corner of white and I tipped them off. 
So I think it's all right as far as metallic pores go. Wouldn't mind doing it again and maybe torching first just to see, uh, because this is a different paint, to see how it reacts. It's very stable. The cells have stayed really stable. Um, it's probably a little bit busy. It's a bit busy for me. This is gorgeous in the middle here. And I've got that little busy corner there. So I'll, I'll have another go. I've got plenty of artist lock paint now. Well, not so much of the gold and the white, but I've got a lot of black. So there we go. Take you in for a close up. Actually, now that I walk around here, I can see that this lot here is more stretched than up here. So let's just take that down a little bit. Mm, now, this is getting stretched up here, isn't it? Maybe I did overstretch it. Maybe I should have just left it. But the cells were quite small. Oh, I don't know. Radio, let me take you in for a close up. Oh my gosh, look at that little face. Hey, what is that? That's all I'm going to see is that little face. I'm not going to balloon dip him though. I'll just leave it like this. And when it's dry, as I said, I'll show you the finished product when it's dry. Because at the moment, um, you know, gold doesn't look all that attractive when it's wet, does it? It just kind of looks like a creamy, beige -ish sort of a colour. But uh, as far as cells go, even though I have overstretched them a touch, some of them, they, they're pretty cells. We've got some plain white ones there on the right. And we've got some little gold ones there on the left. These ones in the middle are really pretty. I've got the black rings around the gold. And there's some little baby ones that have just popped up from my torching afterwards. So some have got black rings, some have got white rings. Those in the top right corner. They've got the white rings around gold or white rings around black. So very pretty. That's my favourite spot there, right in the middle. Glad it's in the middle. <laughs> All right, and uh, I will leave you there. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I'll I'll go again, and I'll tilt, I'll flip, I'll torch, I'll tilt, just to see what the difference is. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.